Imagine if he just didn't do what I'm doing right now. That's horrible, man. Like, you blink, and it doesn't blink. How's it going? Welcome to Serena Escape. My name is Cam, and in today's video, we're going to be continuing our phobia series with episode four, Catoptrophobia. Catoptrophobia. Hold on, let me just double check this. Catoptrophobia. Catoptrophobia. There you go, guys. So we're going to get onto what that phobia means in just a second. I just want to start off by saying, if you did check out our last video, guys, I'll leave an annotation above just there uh, for, was it Dean Schneider? Dean Schneider, however you want to pronounce the name. Thanks so much for the suggestions and the love and support on that video so far. It's doing really, really well. Um, and there is a demand there to react to some more of his content. So I'm all for that, guys. Of course, I will do that in the future. No doubt about that. Um, yeah, I'm just excited to continue this phobia series, guys. And I think this is going to be a good one, a good episode. Um, there's been very little scarce uh, sort of like videos, clips, images, that sort of thing for this specific phobia. Because it's such a, a complex phobia to really broadcast on like a, a platform of like photos and videos, that sort of thing. The only thing I can relate to with this phobia is if you if you're an OG and uh, you remember back in the day with the horror films, early two thousands. Uh, I can't remember the exact year. There was a film that come out right, and it still sticks with, still sticks with me to this day. And in a bit in the trailer, I'm gonna have to put it after I finish what I've just said. You guys can see it in just a second. Um, it was called Mirrors. If you remember the film Mirrors, uh, that used to freak me out, man, because obviously I was much younger when I watched that. And um, yeah, it's it's probably one of the most sort of psychological affecting horror movies. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I'd go recommend checking it out, guys. Uh, yeah, it gets kind of brutal. Um, I'm going to have to throw a clip up, guys. You're going to have to check it out. I'm not acting scared, but he is. What are you doing? Nothing. So, so yeah, with that being said, I've managed to find a video of just some images to react to. Of course, the fake, like they're not real. They're sort of like concept art images of what the phobia is and what people sort of build up in their mind as to what, like I've just said, what the phobia is and, you know, what to expect. We're going to get straight into it, guys. It's from a guy called um, Re Reza, Reza Zero. Uh, I'll leave everything linked below in the description, guys. You can go ahead and check out the channel. Please do drop the subscription to this guy and uh, go over to the initial video as well and drop a like on the video, guys. That would be awesome. Always encourage that support there. Uh, yeah, and with that being said, I think we're all good to go into the reaction, guys. Let's go ahead and get into Cataptrophobia. I timed that wrong. I'm sorry. Let's go. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. So this is the look at the thumbnail, man. Look how dodgy this is already. Nah, mate. Imagine that. Ugh. Okay. This has got ambiency. There you go. Catoptrophobia images with uh, FNA, FNAF. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, free ambience music. Um, I guess we're going to find out in just a second. I might turn it down just a little bit. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I think this should be all good. Oh, mate. What am I getting myself into? Uh, it's quite a short video here. Two minutes 37. So we're going to be pausing for out. Of course, it's just images. Let's go. Let's do it, man. This is one of these videos that I imagine makes you think twice. I've definitely had this thought before. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, that's that's horrible. I'm obviously, that's from like a same clip. If this is from a, a clip, why don't you just throw the clips up, dude? That's horrible, though. Look at that. Imagine, like, if you were just filming your kid and that happened. You know, he was like, you know, being all cute with him. Like, smile, look up at the camera. And then he does that. And then that thing's in the mirror staring back at you. Nah, mate, that's horrible. It's an ambience music. Don't see. Yeah, okay. Turn it up just a little bit. Yeah, that's that's freaky, man. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh. It's not really doing too much for me with that one. Maybe because it's so small. The image is just really small. What about that one? Yeah, that's uh kind of freaky, man. It's too dark. The image is too dark to tell. Yeah, see, that that's what messes with me. Not the initial ones that are trying to be, like, dark, gothic, and creepy, that sort of thing. It's these ones, man. Like, the day-to-day -day ones, because this is what you could literally associate with day-to-day -day life, right? 
I could literally look in that mirror and then the reflection uh, could be completely different, just like that. And that's the psychological aspect of this phobia, to be honest. That's horrible, man. Obviously, this guy is just using two different photos there and they're just blended together. The camera's in the same spot, as you can probably tell. There's, so he's took one photo of him looking into the mirror, uh, probably from that angle, sort of looking back, the same position that he's in right there. Um, and then he's obviously took another one and took it side by side and then put both of those images together so it sort of blended into one image, hence creating that effect. Um, I could do that, like, right now if I wanted to, but I'm not going to, so... <laughs> yeah, um... It's just a horrible concept to think about, really, isn't it? Yeah, let's continue with that one. What do you guys think, by the way? What do you think about this phobia? Do you ever think about this, like, subconsciously? Do you ever look at yourself in the mirror and then do you ever try and, you know, hold on, let's go full screen. Just, you know, you just feel like, yeah, go on, go on then. Trying to start in the mirror, no? No, you don't get this feeling? So if I'm here, start, hold on, it's not really a good angle, is it? <laughs> hold on, let's move it, let's move it. That's okay. That's as far as it wants to go. You just sort of here. Oh, come on then. Hmm? You guys, you guys probably can't hear me. There you go. <laughs> you just sort of chilling here. Imagine, imagine if you just didn't do what I'm doing right now. That's horrible, man. Like you blink and it doesn't blink. We'd say I'll just turn my head, and then it turns its head as well. Well, I'm saying it. It's me, isn't it? All right. Never mind. Let's uh, let's continue, man. Let's continue. Proper makes you linger on those photos, doesn't it? Mm. That one's kind of creepy within itself, anyway. Because why is this woman in a mirror screaming in a mirror to herself? I mean, the face is kind of creepy there. It's a blown up image. It worked better with the ambient music. I do like that. That's cool, man. That's cool. Kind of, yeah, very creepy. I'm more creeped out about her face and why she's screaming into a mirror, but... I'm not sure if that's from the film, actually. Wait, what? Oh, right, so she... Okay, so this woman here is facing away from the mirror, and obviously there's another... Her reflection looking back into her. That's kind of, um... It, it kind of makes you think, doesn't it? It kind of makes you think that maybe there is, like, a, a mirror a mirror verse and mirror dimension that you can get into. And maybe there is like a, a mirror version of yourself that sort of reverse, you know, when you reverse like a self portrait camera on your phone, that sort of thing. Maybe there is another version of yourself trapped in like everything reflected, like a, a reflected mirrored verse of uh, the universe that we actually live in now. Something to think about. Yeah, that's kind of, kind of psychologically creepy staring back into the real world if that or maybe their version is the real world <laughs> what is that <laughs> okay so obviously this is another trick this is probably just two images like blended together the fact that they've matched up the the arms uh which is pretty clean pretty clever that's quite good you've also got the uh the note there on each side so it is a you know identical reflection everything's in proportion of where it should be the same as the uh, soap dispenser there. Um, yeah, I want to say that's maybe the same image, but then this part here is cut. So it's like the same again, like I explained earlier, with the blended images and two different images put together. Um, because those, yeah, the hands contact there. The arm is sort of in the same position there, guys. Uh, yeah, I'll just say like this bit's been cropped out. This is like another image and then this bit is maybe the reversed image um, But yeah, just cropped out with this uh, pig mask on or something like that. It's kind of creepy though Yeah, imagine if you actually saw that See that's quite That's quite like deep when you think about it, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that is quite deep, guys. What do you think about that one? What do you think? Because obviously she's like got a head and hands, like she's suffering or whatever. She's not even looking into the mirror. And then there's like a mirror version of herself staring back at her from the other side of the room um, through the mirror. And the face is all blurred as well. It's an interesting concept, like picture, like artwork. I want to call it art more than anything. It's like a representation, something that you'd see in an art gallery. 
uh, to represent like a fear or like oppression, that sort of thing. Dread, maybe? Dig them socks though. Okay. So that's a, that's another one there. Um, that's kind of creepy, man, because when you look at that, there's two different faces, two different screen grabs there. It's sort of like screaming back at him. Uh, I don't know why this guy's got an eye patch on. That's kind of weird. Uh, what is this from? Are these all clips from different videos and stuff? I should really try and find the clips and uh, react to an actual like video or like a short film to sort of delve deeper into this phobia. If you know any of those linked down below in the description, please do. Please do let me know. Yeah, oh God, it's this one, isn't it? I've, I've seen this video. I know it's fake, but it's just the concept, man. It's just the concept. Imagine that. Same again, you're filming your kid. Smile, you know, brushing your teeth, whatever, getting ready for bed. And then that thing's just staring at them as they turn around. Oh, no. Disgusting, mate. What? That one's not really weird. It's just a guy looking in the mirror. He hasn't got a lot of blacked out eyes. Yeah, there he is. It's just gave me chills, that one. It's the same, it's the same clip. It's the same video. Uh, I should have really got that one. It's more like ghost, like a ghost video or something like that. Right, okay. So that was the video, guys. That was the initial reaction. Um, it could be a lot better, to be fair. I do want to sort of delve deeper into this um, phobia as well. Maybe like a side video in the future. If you have got any suggestions, please do let me know down below in the comment section. As I said, guys, check out Mirrors, the uh, horror film Mirrors, if you haven't already seen it. Um, it proper, it triggers this phobia, this uh, cat catoptrophobia um, fear. So, yeah, I'd definitely give that a watch if I was you, if you're into your horrors. Um, yeah, man, that was my initial reaction, guys. As I said, link's going to be all down below in the description to check out. Go show some love. Go like the video. Go subscribe to the channel. Just stay tuned for some more Phobia series videos, guys. Uh, looking forward to exploring some more phobias with you and um, getting some cool clips up. Uh, I'll try and get a better video next time. I've got to admit, it, it could have been a bit better, right? Could have been a bit better. But um, that's just me being honest, right? Dean Snyder, I'm going to have to get on that. I know you guys want to see some more Stora. Stora, I'm getting better at the name, guys. Let's go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've got a bunch of other video ideas lined up as well. A little tease to what's coming in the future is uh, cryptids. I want to delve deeper into cryptids, explore the different ones. We can sort of debunk all of the videos, clips, images, all that good stuff, guys. So uh, yeah, that will be the good topic of discussion in the future. Uh, with that all being said... I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Drop a little like and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Have a good one.